Welcome back everyone. Now that you've activated your website, we're going to go through setting up the home page of the VS Netflix theme. When you first install the theme, your home page is going to look something like this. So the first thing we'll do is change this featured area with your own image, your own text, and your own link. So within your admin area, you want to go to featured area and press the add new slider button. Let's first give this slider a title. I'll just call it home slider. Then we will add a new slide. Now the featured sliders allow you to set a background video as well as an image. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to use a simple background image. And normally you'd be able to search for videos that have been added to WordPress. However, we haven't added any yet, so I'm just going to add some basic text here. I'm just going to add a heading text. Check out my new video website. We'll leave the watch now button as watch now. You'll notice there's a few options here. You can choose between a normal and large size button. You can put in a custom URL here if you want. Um, a lot of times, like when you're searching a video or a page, a lot of this information will be automatically filled once you select which video you want to display. I'm going to link this to the account because I know it's already a page on the website. And I'll leave the content to the left. The link entire slide option, this links the entire image rather than just the button. And then this, of course, opens the slide in a new tab. So I'm going to save this. And you'll notice if you go back to your home page, you'll still be seeing this default image and text. And that's because we haven't yet created our front page in WordPress. So the next thing you want to do is go to Pages and find the sample page. You'll see there's a whole bunch of additional pages that have automatically been created by the WP Video Memberships plugin. We can ignore those for now. I'll take you through that in another video. For right now, you want to find the sample page. If you don't have a sample page, you can create a new one and just follow these steps. So we're going to edit the page and I'm going to change this to home. And you can call this whatever you want. Um, I'm just using home because it is going to be our home page. Press save and update. While we're in here, we can also set the new slider. So in the featured area on the right hand side, you select slider and that home slider that we just created should be listed there. Press update again. Now you need to go to settings, reading, and you'll notice the home page displays setting is currently set to your latest posts. We want to change this to a static page and select the home page. Let's save changes. Now if you go back to your front page and refresh, you'll see your new image, your new heading, your new text and link. You may notice that uh, I don't have a, an administrator toolbar up here. I'll just show you guys how to remove that if you want. I like to hide that when I'm, when I'm viewing the website so I can really see what it looks like. If you go to Users in your left admin panel and click Edit under your administrator account, you can uncheck the toolbar box and then go down and press Update Profile. Then when you're viewing the site, this, uh, this admin bar that's here will no longer show on the front end of the site. And just on a final note, guys, um, I just want to go through this featured area a little bit more. You can add additional slides. So each featured area slider can have multiple slides. 
but you can also add additional sliders. So just in this example, slider two, I'll add another slide here. And because I only have this one image, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna choose this same image. Another slider. Watch now. We'll just link to the account again. You notice this. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. But you'll notice that there's actually two featured sliders now. So if I go back to the home page or, or any page for that matter, um, you can actually choose which slider you want to display on this page. So these images are the same, but you'll notice the, the text will change here, right? So this is the actual second slider. And because I didn't set a, a slide background for it, it's, it's not appearing, right? So I didn't, I didn't save this image. So there we go. In the next video, guys, I'm going to take you through adding your own logo and adding a adding a menu to this to the top right here see you guys in the next video